Senator Ademola Adeleke of PDP has been declared winner of the Oshun State Governorship election. <laughs> Senator, as he's fondly called, defeated the incumbent governor of Oshun State, Adegboyega Oyetola, to clinch the seats. Most people feel the outcome of Oshun State's election is an inking of what is to come during the next, next year's presidential election. For one, Oyetola is Tinubu's candidate. Even though Adelike's victory is not exactly what I would call a landslide victory as it was pretty close, not so close but at least. Nevertheless, Tinubu's anointed one lost again. I say again because the election reminds me of how most of Tinubu's preferred candidates have lost in recent elections. With Tinubu in the running for the presidential seat next year, it is interesting to see how far he would go. If his candidates are already losing out at the polls, I mean, what will happen to him during next year's election? As expected, people are already congratulating Governor Adelike. President Buhari was one of the first people to congratulate him via his Twitter handle. Another thing I noticed from this election is that no family exemplifies the, that the saying the family that supports each other always wins like the Adele case. His uh, family they have been all out for him. His nephew Davido campaigned for him during this election like he was the one running for office. He drummed up support for his uncle at every given opportunity. He campaigned tirelessly both online and offline. He even hopped on a bike so he would go early to the polling booth to cast his votes. And when he noticed some irregularities, he was the first person to raise alarm. He did not just hide his mouth at all. 
Another thing is that he always called his uncle my governor. Even before his uncle became governor, David confessed it. The election before this, his uncle contested, but it was it is widely believed that his uncle was, you know, cheated. He, his uncle was cheated that uh, they rigged the election against him. I think this is a clear case, so uh, though rather of when celebrity influence translates to goodwill among the masses in politics. Davido is widely loved. He has a lot of followers. He has a lot of fans that would do anything for him. So I'm not really surprised that he used this influence to drum up support for his uncle. Speaking of Davido and politics, you know what? I feel Davido is going to run for office in no distant future. There is a reason why he did his NYC, even when he didn't really have to. <laughs> anyway, time will tell if I'm right. Or do you think I'm hallucinating? Do you think I'm just uh, looking at things more than they should be? Let me hear your thoughts. Share your views in the comments section. Let me hear what you have to say. Let's dialogue. Let's just... Anyway, now is the time for me to ask, have you gotten your PVC? If this man, who to me is the real MVP of this whole election, could come out to vote yesterday, what is your excuse? Your vote is your political currency. Come out and cast your votes. Moving on to the next topic. Word on the street is that ASU may likely call off their strike next week. According to the gist, the union is looking to put a temporary halt to the strike, which has lasted about five months. I use the word temporary because word of the street also has it that if after the down tools and go back to to the lecture halls and the government still does not meet the remaining part of the negotiations they might likely embark on another strike again anyway this this, this suspension is not exactly shocking to me though not with some universities already threatening to resume activities without the backing of ASU. This is a welcome development, all things being equal. Not only has the strike lasted a long time, a new session slash semester ought to begin in September. So I wonder how they are going to adjust this calendar right now. Are, are they going to wait We're in July, just less than a month or about a month to lecture and conduct exams before uh, the next session is supposed to start in September. Anyway, let's see how everything goes. Anyway, thanks for watching. Till next time.